how many times are we going to go back to the well? And then, and then what's going to be next, Chris? What's the next phase? The people we released? Is it, right. is it Braun Strowman next? Is it Bray Wyatt next? Mm. My gosh, bro, the, the failure to get people over. What's going on, everybody? This is Dr. Chris here. Sports Kita, Vince Russo, riding with Russo. How are you, my guy, tonight? <clears throat> there it is right there. Uh, What's going on, doctor? How are you, man? How are I, you? How I'm blessed, are man. you? I, I'm blessed. I uh, I, I prefer to go – I prefer to work, work outside of my office uh, just because it, it's just – I do so much at home, uh, study, podcast – uh, that's why I love personal, just being in my yeah. office. Yeah. And um, uh, office was shut down today because of the emergency, the weather, inclement weather here in Ohio. And uh, wasn't a big fan. I mean, it was cool. It, it, it was, you know, I was here all day with my family. Nice. And, uh, <clears throat> but I worked all day. So I was in my office for eight, eight hours, eight plus yeah. hours. So, you know, I'm still in my office once again to, to work here uh, for, for Sports Kita. How was it in Colorado today, man? Was it as uh, bad as the weather meteorologist said it was? Great? No, we, 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 we got hit yesterday, bro. Yesterday was the bad snow day. Um, gotcha. uh, today, today was. I mean, bro, I, I'll tell you what, though. I woke up this morning. It was minus seven. Ooh. In Colorado? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, in Colorado. That's what it was when I woke up. But we we didn't get snow today. We got it yesterday. Gotcha. We didn't even get much snow. East Ohio, I'm here. I'm in Central. So um, we didn't get too much snow. And I'm Central Southeastern. I'm a suburb of Columbus. And, uh, yeah, we got mostly ice, though. It was, a lot, it was very icy, slushy, black ice type of deal. So, you know, that's... I'd rather get like six feet of snow, uh, six inches of snow that's just pure snow yeah, than black yeah. ice. I mean, black ice is, yeah. is very deceptively dangerous. And so it yeah. gets you sliding everywhere. So, bro, you want to hear something? Uh, I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, just real quick thought. I was going to say uh, uh, schools were shut down today and then schools are shut down tomorrow, too. <laughs> so we just wow, got the, tomorrow the notification. Too, so they, 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 the kids already know that there's no school tomorrow. Uh, the kids know there's no, there's no school, and we usually allow the kids to stay up about a couple hours later when there's no school. So they're pretty yeah. happy about that. That's man, I remember when, when we remember when we were younger and we and it was a snow day. How awesome was that, bro? <laughs> I remember we had five. We had, when I was in school, we had five snow days uh, a year, and then after the fifth snow day, we were forced to stay. After the school ended for each day, we didn't get out. each day after oh the five. Gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, now they're just like, well, whatever. It's snow days. Yeah. It's, it's still it's still a hard cut off Memorial Day uh, around Memorial Day. So, so Chris, yeah, how, well, how funny yeah. is this? Before we get into the topic, because you'll get a kick out of this, right? Mm -hmm. So, me and my wife, you know, the thing we're doing together is we're watching Yellowstone together. OK, mm -hmm. so we just watched an episode before I came to do this and we planned on do, watching another episode when we're done. Mm -hmm. So she nice. goes, what time will you be done? I said, well, with the two shows, I should be done around nine mm -hmm. and she nine, snide, nine uh, mountain time. Right. Yeah. Nine mountain. And yeah, she yeah. snidely <clears throat> said to me, yeah, right. So I snap back. You know what? X page. You want to know what time we're going to be done? X page. Page is the only one who knows when he's going to stop talking. All right? You want to know the truth? So, yes, I have no idea what time Page is going to be done. So here, here's my phone. Page is in my phone. You want to call Page and say, DDP, what time are you going to be done talking yes. so me and my husband can watch Yellowstone? <laughs> well, lately, he's been talking. He, you know, he, Page is Page. When the best storytellers in the in the, in the band and in, in the land but he, now he's doing like a hard cut off when it's time to go and yes. so like both of us were like but 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 
<laughs> well, bro, I, I learned, I, I learned, I learned a little trick last week. I think when I start healing on the callers, because yeah. you, know, you, know, you know he's positively page. Yes, so yes. when there's anything negative, like he's gone. As soon as I started railing on the callers, bro, he. So I, I, I know now, bro. I got, that, I got a little it. lace up my sleeve, that, bro. That, that is, that is the kryptonite, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of kryptonite. Yes. We, will we get a kryptonite at WrestleMania for someone who just recently reported scheduled to come back again for another stint for a match at WrestleMania? None other than Goldberg. Goldberg. Now, listen, I've said this before in my shows. I'm a Goldberg, Mark. I've always loved Goldberg. I thought the whole Goldberg phenomenon was amazing. The 173 wins without a loss. Blah, blah, blah this and that. <clears throat> Actually, technically, he he had a he had a loss to uh my dude Chad Fortune from Techno Team 2000. You know, he used to team up with uh with uh, Eric Watts. How yes, about that? Yes, he was yep. the first person who beat Goldberg at a house show, actually. Yeah. Wow. And I, I, inter- not, I, I did not know yeah. that. <clears throat> I interviewed him. Yeah, I interviewed him before. Nice guy. So, you know, according to, you know, booking, he's 173 and 0 and uh before he lost to Kevin Nash. And so, you know, I loved I loved the Goldberg phenomenon. I think he was one of the um the center points, he was one of the flash points of Nitro at the time. Uh during the Monday Night Wars, he was a huge, a very pivotal part of the Monday Night Wars. Shoe in WWE Hall of Famer, of course. You know, when he got in the Hall of Fame, it was it was inevitable. Broke away, had a really tough relationship before he left uh, in the early 2000s. <clears throat> Last match in Madison Square Garden against Brock Lesnar. Came back, and I believe it was in Colorado he actually uh, came back, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, a WWE 2K promotion and learned, turned into a big comeback. Super amazing reaction when he came back. And then the and then the crowd started to heal up on Goldberg as we saw more of him. He ended up winning the title, beat uh, Bray Wyatt, and <clears throat> had you know had a couple stints. Uh, beat Brock Lesnar in a minute and a half, about a minute and a half. And so he had some moments. Dolph Ziggler, when he went against Dolph Ziggler, that was kind of like a, a way to patch up. Uh, having a debacle of a match against The Undertaker. So we're going to see him back. We saw him beforehand when he went against uh, um, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman actually beat him to win the Universal Championship. So we saw we see Goldberg here and there. Now there is talks of him coming back to face someone at WrestleMania 38. So we are seeing Goldberg once again, ladies and gentlemen. Vince Russo, you work with Goldberg. I uh, know that you have your thoughts towards Goldberg. Let us know where Vince yeah. Russo stands in this. Chris, I got to be honest with you. This ain't a Goldberg thing. This has nothing to do with Goldberg. This what 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 we're really starting to look at now, bro, honestly, is how many times the WWE going to go back to the well? I, I mean, bro, and and bro, here's the thing. If you're going back to the well with one person, that's one thing. But now we're going back to the well with Brock. Now we're going back to the well with Ronda Rousey. What now we're edge. going back? We go edge. We're going back to the well with Goldberg. Bro, I'm I'm telling you, man, they have welled the the casual f- a uh, casual audience out. I, I yeah. mean, bro, it do, I, I, listen, this is not about Goldberg. It's not about Goldberg. I want to make that clear. He doesn't mean anything anymore. Chris, remember when Michael Jordan came back to the Washington Bullets? <laughs> remember, uh, Jordan, <clears throat> remember that? Bro, could you imagine if Jordan would have came back like three, four, five, six times? Like, could, could yeah. you imagine? The first yeah. time, okay, bro, you were just talking about Goldberg 2000. But my God, bro, how many times are we going to go back to the well? And then, and then what's going to be next, Chris? What's the next phase? 
the people we released? Is it right. is it Braun Strowman next? Is it Bray Wyatt next? Mm-hmm. My gosh, bro, the, the failure to get people over. Yeah. They just keep going. Bro, people are not going to respond to Ronda Rousey. This is the second time around now. They're not going to respond to Goldberg because I lost count of how many times around this is now. And yeah. like I said, bro, this has nothing to do with the individuals. But, man, bro, you can only go back to that well, Chris, so many times. I, as someone who's a big fan of Goldberg, I couldn't agree more, Vince. I, I, it's just, at the end of the day, good, you know, good way to bring up good comparison with Jordan going to the Wizards. It's just Jordan, Michael Jordan's my all time favorite basketball player. And when he came back to the Wizards, I was just like, you know, yeah, and that 45. was one time, Chris. One yeah. time. That was one time. That once. Was one time. Yeah. Right. yeah, that was that was once. Just imagine over and over and over again. And I think you make a good point, Vince. We've seen Goldberg in so many different capacities. Uh, the most recent of uh, uh, Drew McIntyre, uh, Drew McIntyre, him, him losing against Drew McIntyre, and then the Bobby Lashley angles that even led to uh, Saudi. <clears throat> and so we've seen. We've seen Lashley, like it was the 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 screwy, like no contest type of deal at SummerSlam, and then they went against each other again. Goldberg won, but at the same time, it's just like, what does this all mean at the end of the day? And it's just, I'm a big fan of you, and I've said this with Ronda Rousey, Vince. Use the dollars. To build equity, it's just good business. (laughs) Here's the problem, Chris. This is the picture, this is the vibe and the feeling that I'm getting, especially now going into uh WrestleMania. It feels like, bro, they're trying to keep their head above water. Yeah, you know, we got to get to WrestleMania, we got to draw on WrestleMania, bring Ronda back, you know, Brock, you know, bring you know, we're trying to keep our head above water. But it's just like you said. Okay, then what? Yeah. You know, it's usually, bro, we're trying to keep our head above water until this time when this happens. You yeah. know, so usually, okay, bro, we're, we're, you know, we're doggy paddling. We're trying to keep ahead. But we know on this date, boom. Yeah. What is that? What, yeah. what, what is going to happen? Here's my question, bro. What is going to happen after WrestleMania? <laughs> 